Okay, so uh, let's get another coat on the front. Uh, again, we're going to start with the darkest colour first. Uh, oh, there's my lid. Again, we want to make sure we're not loading the brush too much with colour. And also notice, I'm holding the brush quite low down. I'm not sort of holding it right at the edge. This gives you a lot more control. Okay, so let's get this next coat on. Like I say, because it dries so quickly, um, you can get quite a lot done. Um, on a project at once but what I'll, I think I'll do is after this second coat I'll leave it till tomorrow um, make sure the second coat's had a really good dry um, and we will come back tomorrow and carry on so let's get the uh, There was quite a bit of damage on this door and there's a little bit up there as well which isn't brilliant but um, there's not a great deal I can do about that. I have filled it in a bit but all adds to the character. <laughs> Look at my bright red face. I uh, it was like the first day of spring yesterday, and it was really sunny. So um, actually, when I sat in the garden for a change, which doesn't happen very often, and ended up burning my face. <laughs> today it's cold again, so no sunbathing today. also need to make sure you do is when you um, when you're painting like this you can get paint in the gaps so always keep a screwdriver handy so you can open the door and just check that you haven't got too much paint that's pooling at the edge and also you don't want it sticking together depending on how um, how tight the door fits so um, but also a word of warning when you when you are painting the edges don't forget that that's adding depth to the door so you might end up with it not fitting as well so you just want a really really thin coat you may if you have to sand it down you just use a very fine sandpaper um, but mainly we don't want to end up with a ridge so just keep checking or before you leave it to dry open the doors and just check that um, there isn't any thick paint there and leave the doors open obviously because otherwise you might come to it the next day and find out that the doors are painted shut <laughs> and we don't want that absolutely not so this is starting to look a bit better now with the second coat it's a bit more even there's a couple of bits that don't seem to be taking the paint as well but hopefully it will be okay you do have to be careful with dark furniture as well because Sometimes you can get, depending on what the finish is actually made from, you can get bleed through. Um, so just check. There are products you can get to uh, like stain blockers that if you find out that you've done a coat of paint and then you come back to it and it's brown, it's got, it's turned brown. Darker colours aren't too bad, but if you if you're painting it white or cream or you know a really light colour, 
you could have bleed through of the brown um, stain that the, the piece was originally done with coming through. That's why if you if you do a base coat first and then come back to it, say the day later, um, you'll know whether or not you're going to get bleed through. So um, you won't sort of get to finish the piece and then find out the next day when you come back to it that it's all gone horrible and brown. So it's best to um, do it in stages. Right, just a bit more here. I noticed I did go a bit thick with the paint there, so I'm just going to open this. still sinking in quite a bit this paint on the on this particular on the front you get more wear on the front so um, the side seems to have gone on fine with two coats but I'll see I'll see what it's like tomorrow when it's dried but definitely the front will need three coats right are we done with that I think so yep okay Pop that one down. Oops. Uh, and we'll get the next colour. Okay. Again, sort of work your way down into the, the last colour. Um, put your true colour. Oh. oh, yes, that's right. Thought I dipped in the wrong paint then. Um, put your true colour on first where you want it and then bring it down into the wet. Make sure we're getting those edges. It's a nice change for me having a play with furniture. I haven't done any since before Christmas, so I've been busy painting and I just released a uh, wrote, written a book, children's book. So I've got a few things on the go, but I do love to recycle furniture. At the end of the day things were made so much better um, so just because it's not a very nice colour doesn't mean you can't do something about that especially today with chalk paints being so amazing. Okay so I've got the main colour on now and there's hardly any paint left on the brush so what I'm going to do is start working down very very lightly blending one into the other dark one again. What you don't want is a, a definite line so you just keep going over it and over it until it really blends in nicely. Get the light one again. 
again and come back down. Still sinking in this paint, so it'll definitely need another coat. But we're getting there. See how it's better to have the hardware on already so that it, it doesn't, unless you want to make a feature of it, it blends in then to the uh, rest of the paint but you do just have to make sure you, you get right in to the <coughs> little bits. Okay, so start coming sorry about that my um, camera switched off um, I can tell I haven't done this for a while my arms hurting <laughs> okay so we're gonna start bringing this back down again now once it starts to dry, you'll you'll notice that it starts to take the paint off. So you 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 can only get to it like a certain point, in my estimation, and then you need to just stop and let it dry, um, and then come back to it again. So let's see where we're up to here. See, I've got a big blob there, but it doesn't matter because I can just go over it with the darker colour. Let's just get some more light in there. Get the dark again. Okay. Work my way up. actually if I wanted to add just a spritz of water if you find that it's going a bit gloopy just add a spritz of water to the end of your brush um, let's see Stop. like I say I'm not worried too much because it, it is going to need another coat if I want it to look nice just put a bit of Bring that down a bit. We're getting there though, I think. See, when I did that then, it took the paint off there. So it's getting to the point where it's not going to do much more on this bit. So I think I'll leave that now and we'll do the, the top 
colour. Right. Get my lid. We'll get up under here first. I'll put a base coat of this colour on the edge there, but I think I'm going to actually do the top in the darker colour, but it's uh, rather than go onto the raw wood that was there, I thought I'd put just a coat on, just to cover it up. Okay. These colours are going to be just perfect in my peacock room. I still might use some peacock tissue paper, I'm not sure. Because I was going to put it in the panels as well, but it might be a bit over the top. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Right, I think I'll stand up for this bit. inside these bits I'll see what uh, I think I'm going to need a smaller brush to get in there so let's just Again, before I leave it, I'll make sure the drawers are open and the doors, and that way it, um, it's not going to paint itself shut. These brushes probably aren't going to last very long with them only being cheap from Amazon but um, they're a nice shape. Okay so now with just a small amount I'm going to start blending. Maybe put a bit more here. Blending the two colours again. Right, 
wanted to put my spray there. It is. It's just dried a little bit too much. So I'm just going to tiny amount and just wipe off any excess. Still, still a bit patchy, it's going to need more paint. But we're getting there. So what I think I'll do is I'll um, leave it overnight. Let's get, I've got a few splashes here. Just watch out for little tiny splashes because you're using three different colours. Okay. So I'm going to leave that as it is now and um, come back to it tomorrow. So um, I'll see you then. Okay, so we're back again and I'm going to, before I put another coat on, I'm going to, with a very fine sandpaper, just give it very lightly. I just want to get rid of any little tiny specks of paint, just to give it a smoother finish. if there's any little spots or uh, gritty bits that are sticking up it should be fine okay so I'll give that a wipe and then we're ready for the next coat okay so giving it a rub down and um, just cleaned it off a bit so now we're going to go back to putting off hopefully our final coat on uh, but we'll see how it goes so again starting with the darkest colour I can feel that because I um, give it a little very light sand I can feel that it's a lot smoother the surface now you can um, in between each layer of paint, each um, layer, you can actually give it a quick, a light sound and that will make it even um, smoother, depending on uh, 
what sorts of conditions you're painting and really if it's like it's quite um, still in here so there's no bits dropping on it but um, it can get dust particles in between waiting for it to dry okay I'll fast forward this bit so because um, we've already done this a few times Sorry, I didn't realise the camera had gone off there. Um, so I've done another ombre coat and just looking for lighter specks on the, the darker colour. I'm just giving it a bit of a check to make sure I haven't got any spots. looking pretty good I think. Hopefully I won't need another coat but until it dries I won't know so just lift that up a little bit there. It's come down a bit far. Just um, open this up and make sure the edges are okay. Make sure there's not 
too much excess paint. Oops. Seeing a bit of mist in there. I did actually do the the insides before I started the outside. Um, a lot of people don't bother with the inside but I think when when you open the door it's nicer if there's some colour inside rather than the, the dark wood that was there. I haven't done anything spectacular but um, where's my screwdriver gone? Oh, lost it. Oh dear. <laughs> Again, I'll leave that to dry and we'll um, come back. I can't decide if I'm going to put some gold leaf on it somewhere. Um, so, because I've got some in three different colours and I just, I'd like to put some on, but I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put it. Um, so what I might do is let this dry and then we'll come back and maybe look at doing the top. Um, yeah, okay, see you soon.